New at five, the owner of a club made famous on MTV's Jersey Shore is now claiming that the town of Seaside Heights discriminates against minorities. And he says he has the secret recordings to prove it. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Johnson. Club Karma is just a shell of what this nightclub once was. Back in the day, it hosted the cast from the hit MTV show Jersey Shore. We're going to Karma tonight. Like, that is my spot on Saturdays. The club Wednesday. owner, John Sadie, has declared bankruptcy after closing down following arrests for underage drinking and drug abuse. But his lawyer claims the club was targeted because the owner wanted to bring in more hip-hop music and minority clientele. Well, they didn't like black people in town. and They were complaining about if I played hip-hop or whatever. This secret audio recording between the club owner, John Sadie, and a former town official, John Camera, is being used as evidence to show the town looks down on minorities. I was sent down to ask to go check out what kind of crowd there was there. The word was you were having all kinds of people they didn't want in town catering. And, you know, different ethnic groups that were a problem. Seaside just is like, think it's 1960. The lawyer for the club owner believes his client's desire to bring in more gays and minorities to boost business was unwelcome. They're trying to promote this image as a, as a family uh, environment, but, it, you know, in reality, it's a white family environment. The lawyer for Seaside Heights issued this statement saying, in part, the borough absolutely denies these outrageous, false and inflammatory allegations made by an individual who's looking for money and who was willing to make wild and unsupported smears about public servants in pursuit of that money. Club Karma's doors have been shut down since Memorial Day weekend, and the owner owes over $500,000. But the lawyer for this community says everybody is welcome here in Seaside Heights.